Here's a little bit closer look at number 23573, the 54 karat grade 5 gamble rough. We're going to look at it both wet and dry. Let's see if there's anything that you can tell different. It does look different dry and then you can see this in the end very well here. See the color bar floats right over that sand in the end. What it looks like to me is that this sand spot in the middle doesn't go all the way down to the porch. The thing that you can't tell with this one, you, I, I think you can pretty much tell that the sand doesn't go all the way down to the porch. What you can't tell is if the layer of color goes down below it and in between the bottom of that and the potch. Have a look at it wet. It's often a good sign when you can see a shadow below the sand. If you look there, you can see that below that sand spot, it's really dark. Oftentimes that's the shadow of the sand on the pot down below. It's sometimes an indicator that the, the sand is floating above the bottom, and if you grind down on it, and the color goes below it, then you know you, then your opal's considerably bigger. Sorry, it's hard to keep it in focus here. It does look like from the side that that color bar is pretty thick. And the color, you can see it all goes all the way down to the potch. So there is a, there's definitely a possibility that that color runs all the way up underneath that sand. I mean, it does run over the sand here, but you wouldn't want to keep that in a stone. You'd want to take that out. So you'd be fighting about whether or not that was your stone here, or your stone covered the whole face of it. If it was me, I would try to cap this, but it's probably more appropriate for a carver to try to take that sand out. You'd have more, you'd definitely have more control over, over the piece that way. <laughs> 